In a world where performance meets precision, there exists a line of gear often overshadowed by its flashier counterparts. Welcome to the realm of Nike SFS Tactical. Now, not a lot of people know about the Nike SFS Tactical line, and I think it's really because it doesn't get as much publicity. I remember back in 2011 when I graduated Air Force basic training, and we were finally allowed to get our own pair of boots for everyday wear. So I threw away the bricks on my feet. I think they were Belleville boots. Um, they're very heavy, and my friend told me about Nike, and they were actually making military boots. So I heard about this thing called the Nike SFB, I went to my local base exchange and they had it in stock at US Patriot Tactical. And I remember I picked it up and it was pretty much like a Nike running shoe. And I was like, let me try these on. I tried them on and they fit exactly. They were light like a Nike running shoe. And I got them. And the first model that Nike actually made seemed to be the best model that I've actually worn. Uh, you know, I've gone through a couple boots, Nike boots within the last decade, but I would have to say the first boot I ever got from Nike was the best boot, the original Nike SFB. So there's no surprise that many service members and law enforcement personnel turn to Nike when it comes to wearing a brand that is a proven athletic brand that has built the reputation with not only star athletes, but also the trends and the style nowadays. Nike dominates the athletic wear market with its iconic sneakers and sportswear and there's no doubt that its competitors are trying to find a way to mimic and sometimes even attempt to clone its success imagine someone not only trying to copy your success but copy your identity when i searched my name online i was shocked to discover my personal information was available for anyone to see including the city i live in and even my relatives and names a coworker also showed me how someone could pull my age home address, and previous addresses just by having my phone number. It's an incredibly unsettling feeling to know these intimate details about my life are out there for strangers to access. I started looking into ways I could reclaim my privacy. That's when I discovered Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura empowers me to take control of my personal data. It shows me exactly which data brokers are profiting from my information and handles opt-out requests on my behalf. Now I have peace of mind knowing my details aren't being bought and sold. Aura also safeguards me in other critical ways. It includes robust antivirus software, a VPN for secure browsing, and monitors suspicious activity on my credit and bank accounts. With so many layers of protection, I can browse and share online without worrying what might happen to my data. I value my privacy, and I value yours. Visit Aura.com slash Space Jam Tactical to start your free trial and take the first steps toward reclaiming your personal information. The SFS Tactical line, designed for those who demand more from their gear, yet often overlooked in the spotlight of mainstream media. Crafted with the same dedication to innovation and performance that defines the Nike brand, the SFB Tactical line offers a range of apparel and footwear engineered for durability, functionality, and versatility. I'd say that the support for the Nike SFS line was stronger earlier when it was developed. Um, I saw something online when I was doing research that they had a whole page dedicated to the Nike SFS line if you went to Nike.com. Now if you go to Nike.com, you'll just get the list of different Nike SFB products, um, which is the Nike SFB boot uh, primarily. Maybe if you go to US Patriot Tactical or TacticalGear.com, um, they'll show you that they have shirts but mainly Nike has decided to focus on its boots within the Nike SFS line. And I'd have to say within the last decade, I've worn, like I said, a couple Nike boots. And really the quality can be hit or miss. You know, I work primarily indoors on an ops floor. Um, and at a console, so I'm not jumping out of airplanes or jumping out of helicopters or kicking down doors. And primarily with my everyday work life, I is in an office, um, some Nike boots have only lasted a couple months. Um, and on the other hand, sometimes my Nike boots have lasted for years, but it just shows how inconsistent the Nike SFS line can be. Even with the best quality, the Nike SFS tactical line often operates in the shadows overshadowed by the bright lights of Nike's mainstream offerings, Nike basketball, running, soccer. On top of that, 
Nike has to also deal with the controversy of supporting law enforcement and military personnel. While Nike supports for military and law enforcement personnel through its discounts on its website and in-person stores, Nike and the SFS tactical line may seem like a straightforward endorsement of those who serve and protect. Yet, it's not immune to controversy. In today's polarized climate, any association with military or law enforcement can be viewed through a political lens. Some consumers may see Nike support for these groups as an endorsement, or government policies or actions they disagree with, leading to boycotts or negative publicity. Nike has a history of aligning itself with social justice causes, particularly through campaigns featuring athletes like Colin Kaepernick. Some critics may question the company's commitment to these causes when it simultaneously supports institutions that are seen as perpetuating systemic issues, such as police brutality or military interventions. There could be ethical concerns regarding the use of Nike's products by military or law enforcement entities involved in conflicts or controversial operations. Critics might argue that by supplying gear to these groups, Nike is indirectly contributing to activities that violate human rights or international law. Associating with military or law enforcement may affect Nike's brand image among certain demographics, particularly particularly younger or more progressive consumers who are skeptical of traditional authority figures. This could lead to a loss of market share or damage to the company's reputation as a socially conscious brand. In navigating these potential controversies, Nike would need to carefully balance its support for the military and law enforcement with its broader brand values and commitments to social responsibility. Transparent communication, engagement with stakeholders, and proactive efforts to address concerns could help mitigate backlash and maintain trust among consumers, employees, and the public. But even with all these controversies, perhaps it's in the shadows where the true strength of the SFS tactical line lies, and its quiet dedication to those who rely on it the most. From military professionals and law enforcement officers to outdoor enthusiasts and adventurers, the SFS tactical line stands as a steadfast companion ready to meet the demands of any mission. Personally for me, I'd love for Nike to put more effort into the SFS line, uh, especially as a consumer, um, buying all the Nike products, whether it's a pair of sneakers or for everyday wear with my uniform, you know, still active duty. I did a recent video on Nike's newest boot, the Nike SFB B2, and it really did leave a lot to be desired. There was supposed to be an upgrade from the Nike SFB B1, but I, you know, like I mentioned in my video, it was a very lazy upgrade because even the sole of the Nike SFB B2 still said B1. Um, so even minuscule things like that to um, the quality control of these things, it just seems like Nike has kind of put this um, tactical line on the back burner. I'm curious as to what you guys think. Should Nike put more emphasis on its tactical line? Or should it continue to focus and cater to the mainstream market of professional sports and athletes? Leave your comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, go and give it a like. And if you haven't, uh, subscribe. I'd really appreciate you guys kind of contributing to the algorithm. And um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments below. But uh, as always, you guys stay safe, keep grinding, and y'all take it easy.